Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Raina Jenks here with a new tutorial on this look. It is, I wanna call it my like pink sunrise eyes look. Pink is just the color of the season. Rose gold was last season. I think we transitioned from rose gold into pink more. I don't know, I don't know. Rose gold is still lit, of course. I really, really, really love this look. I love how pink complements my skin tone. So yeah, so I did a tutorial for you guys and um, it will be a voiceover tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Before I stop talking, make sure you guys, you know, subscribe to your girl, subscribe. And also make sure you like this video and like it, especially if you just want to see more of me. Oh, well, if you want to see more of me, also don't forget to click the bell button so that you don't miss any new uploads. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just feel so pretty today. Oh yeah, this wig. <laughs> yes, I have a new wig, guys. If you would like to see a review on this wig, make sure you definitely like this video and comment down below so that I know that you guys want to know more about this hair. I love this hair. But yeah, let's just get right into the tutorial, okay? So I'm starting off by moisturizing my face with this 5-in-1 face cream by First Aid Beauty. It has SPF 30, so you know it's really good for protecting your skin. Then I'm going in with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray and just going to, you know, prime my face with the setting spray. I'm going to apply primer to my face. I'm using the Milani Prime Shield on my T-zone, or I should just say my forehead, and I'm using the Prime Light everywhere else. The Prime Shield will, you know, mattify the places where I get oily, and then the Prime Light will illuminate all the places that I want to eliminate, which is, you see here, my whole face. <laughs> this foundation is a new buy. I'm using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, and this is in the color Tobacco, and I'm just going to apply that with a, this is actually an eyeshadow brush, but I like to use it to apply my foundation. And then I'm going to use this e.l.f. face brush. What is this e.l.f. brush called? I forgot. Um, but I'm just, you know, uh, dispersing that on my face. And, um, yeah, this is a full coverage foundation. It's, it covers really, really nicely and it's really creamy and I just love how it feels. It feels like nothing. And I'm realizing it's a little, a tinge too light, but, you know, I can deal with just, this is like a half a shade lighter than the rest of my, uh, skin. So it's pretty good. Now I'm going in with my ColourPop brow pencil in the color black brown and just filling in my brows here. And I'm just cleaning up my brows with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color Amand. And I'm also covering up acne scars and whatnot here. And I'm blending out all of those harsh lines with my e.l.f. contour brush. This blends out the harsh lines very nicely. And I'm going to set my brows with this Lancome mascara. I got it as a gift, so don't worry. I didn't buy this just to set my brows, guys. And woo, yes, done with the brows. <laughs> And now I'm just applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion to my eyelids and I'm going to blend that out with my fingers. Now I'm using this warm toned brown color in the Morphe 35F palette as my transition color. And I'm going to this BH Cosmetics Modern Mattes palette for that orange color. And I'm using this Morphe E22 brush. And I like it because it's a little tapered, but it's still fluffy. So it gets right into the crease and it blends out the color very nicely. I love this brush. And, 
Now this is where I get the pop of pink and I'm going to take a regular eyeshadow brush just to pat that onto the lid. And I take that up very close to the orange so that I can blend the two together. You kind of have to work a little bit with this palette because it's not highly pigmented so you really got to swirl that color in there. But I went back to the orange just to bring it back to life a little bit. Now I'm highlighting with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color Caramel. And you guys know the drill, I do the under eyes, the bridge of the nose, and then uh, just a small little bit on the chin. And I'm contouring with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Compact Foundation in the color True Ebony. And you know the drill here as well. And this is actually the Beauty Blender Blusher. This is in between the regular Beauty Blender and the Mini. So it's that middle sized Beauty Blender. I like it because it gets, you know, just, just right in the right places. Now I'm going back to my what I the brush I used for my foundation. This is actually the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. That's the name of the brush, guys. And I'm using it to blend out that contour. And of course, I forgot to blend out my chin, so I'll do that real quick. And I almost died. I saw a bug, and I decided that it wasn't for me. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to get it. This is the new Laura Mercier setting powder in the color Medium Deep. It does tone down your highlight a bit, I have to admit, but that's because this is a deep setting powder. So if you're looking for a brightness, this is not it for you. Now I'm going into the darkest color from my Tardis contour palette to set my contour. And I put too much here, so we're just going to correct that. I do this all the time. This is like an everyday thing. <laughs> and I'm contouring my nose as well with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. This brush is amazing for my nose contour. I'm lining my waterline for a little bit of brightness under the eye. This is Calling Your Buff by Wet n Wild. And I'm lining right under that in this Jordana liner called Black Point. And I'm going back to that uh, warm tone brown color from the Morphe 35F palette just to kind of shade right under the liner just to bring the look together. And I'm taking this nude tone color to highlight right under the brow from the same palette. I went back to my TARDIS contour palette for the blush. This blush is so pretty for every day. It's just an everyday nice blush. And for my highlight, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in the color Catwa Catwalk <laughs> Pink. And spraying that with a little bit of setting spray so I can, you know, get that extra extra bling. This is really, really pretty on top of blush. Uh, it complements any pink blush really well. So I really like this highlight. It's really pretty and very inexpensive as well. And I'm popping the same highlight in the inner corner as well. And we're almost done. I am lining my lips with this lippy pencil by ColourPop in the color Bonus Points. This is literally like my lip color but better. And we're going to go ahead and start off with this Satin Lip Liquid Lipstick by ColourPop. And this is in the color Lion King. And I'm just putting enough, I'm going to leave a little bit of room for the middle because in the middle we're popping in the color Dopey and this is going to give it this ombre effect which is really really pretty. Did you see that? Look at that magic. And I'm just cleaning up with some concealer and setting that all with the Rainforest Setting Spray. And we are all done you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, let me know. Comment down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. 
See you guys.